welcome to Get the Word in Your Face International. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson coming to you with a word from the Lord. God is good. He's good all the time and worthy to be praised. He's the Most High God, El Elyon El Che, the living God who loves you with a true agape love. He wants to pour that love in your heart and write it on your mind and keep your heart and mind in perfect peace. He's our refuge and strength. He's our high tower. There's no weapon formed against us in this life that can prosper because we trust Him. We're rolling all our cares over onto the Lord. As I was beginning to pray this morning, these words came out of my mouth that you, your ways, God Almighty, your ways are good. Your ways lead to life life and peace you know God's ways are not like our ways that's what it says in Isaiah chapter 55 I don't want to put those papers too far from me but in Isaiah chapter 55 verse 8 it says my thoughts are not your thoughts neither are your wait for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts are higher than your thoughts. So he's telling us to come and let our thoughts, let his thoughts, how am I saying this? Verse 7, let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. Oh, I love it. He's already separated us from sin. He's already separated us from sin nature. Now he gives us his nature, his way of being and doing things is a centerpiece in our hearts. Our mind doesn't even want to do life by itself. It doesn't want to wander around this earth on its own. It wants the foundation of Christ. It wants the very foundation. The foundation of God is His thoughts and His ways. It's who He is. It's what He is. We take this mind, will, and emotions, this soul of ours, and we bring it to the Word so it can be renewed in the knowledge of who God, Elohim, is. We get strength in our hearts. I mean, our spirit gets stronger. And we're able to pray and ask the Lord for what we need to ask for. We're able to bind and to loose in this earth. We're able to walk and be givers and doers of good works. Doers of good works. Givers, giving time, giving patience, giving love. Hmm? Giving our, our, good, our, our, our money and the food and whatever it is that God has given you the ability to do, you do it and help somebody else. The Lord blesses us. He blesses the works of our hands, not just so that we can have whatever we want, but so that we can fulfill the mandate in our lives. We've been called into Christ. If we're still in this earth, then we are the exact representation of Christ. We look like him. And this is what people see every day when they see you. They, they see not just your flesh and blood body, though some may. They see the Spirit of God. They see what, is, what godliness is really like. God has put his ways in your heart. He sends love in, into your heart by the Holy Spirit. He teaches, us, he teaches us everything we need to know in every situation. We don't get to say, well, I don't know how to do this or how to do that. And I, 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 let me say that the right way because you, 
you might misconstrue what I'm saying. We are reliant upon the one who gives the information. God knows everything. Oh, because you've never been a father before, and you're a father now, does not mean that you don't know how to do it. It's in you. <laughs> we just love God so much that we come here to the Word and we learn the ways of the Father, the real Father. You can't make any excuse if I was abused all my life by my Father. Old things have passed away. Behold, all things have come become new. When you know this Father, you'll live like this Father. You'll treat your children like this Father. You won't raise your children on masculinity. You'll raise them up in love and there's no written no, I'm not banishing masculinity men are men <laughs> men are men you know the women are women but the way of love the way there's a balance in all of these things God's ways are poured out in our heart instruction is given to us day and night if we will just learn who he is and rest in him sorry if I messed that up a little bit I'm not trying to go in these other arenas the arenas of this world these paradigms of the world where they struggle with you know feminism and masculinity and they don't want to be masculine and they don't want to be feminine and they want to be neutral I want to be what God called me to be and I am a woman so therefore I will be feminine <laughs> not overly feminine in either because if God put a word in your mouth you need to speak that word and if God has put you know his wisdom and knowledge in you then you can't hold back you go about doing good work no matter what anyone else out there tells you I know I say it the way I say it but this word of God is poured into our heart by the Holy Spirit. He teaches us everything. He's speaking to our spirit. Our spirit is seated in heavenly places in Christ Jesus, and yet it walks in this earth, in this flesh and blood body. The spirit that we are with, Holy Spirit, he reminds us of all truth. But, this, but we have to have this great desire for the Lord. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 5 to, to love the Lord your God with all your heart with all your mind and with all your strength that's what we do. Every, every breathing living cell of ours ought to yell out Abba Father it ought to desire God the Lord Jesus with all of whatever it is. I'm sorry. We just need more word in our face. We need to drink and eat the Lord Jesus Christ. And Jesus has come in a, in, into a flesh and blood body, but he was the word that became flesh. And the word has given us life. This word will direct your steps in the daytime and in the nighttime. We have life and peace because of what he's done. And if we believe that Jesus Christ the Son of God, is the Son of God who died and rose again, I'm telling you that we're not that, what does it say in Romans, <clears throat> that old wretched man, that bent over man that's all uh, just full of debauchery, <laughs> full of sin and immoral living in his mind in his ways we have said yes to Jesus and because we've said yes to Jesus the Holy Spirit is teaching us how to mortify kill the works of this flesh and blood body the this uh, immoral desires he knows how to do that but we don't have to focus on it and and just hurt ourselves with this focus on evil the Holy Spirit every day as we're walking through this life is bringing the will of the Father to your remembrance 
He's teaching you in all your ways. He's guiding you in all your ways. We humble ourselves to this word, and this word, I'm telling you, it reveals truth to us. This word in the daytime and in the nighttime comes to us and says yes and no. And like a child who's growing up learning these ways, I do daycare and I've done it too long. I'm ready to quit. I so want to quit. But through all these years of doing daycare, with the way that kids come up with their learning how to use the word no. I've had plenty of kids who don't know how to use the word no. They use it, I mean, they'll just use it on anything to the point where they need a spanking because of the way they use it. They abuse the word no. And they don't do that because, you know, somebody's always saying no to them. They just don't want to do what you're telling them they need to do. Let me close this with the Lord Jesus has given us life and life more abundantly. It's in the knowledge of who he is. We are saved by God's grace, his goodness. And all God's ways toward us are good. When we said yes to the Lord Jesus, we said yes to life. <laughs> life in the one who is eternal. Life with the one who's outside of this world and yet is in this world, over this world, all around this world. Oh, you know what I hate? I, I hate all the personalness of our lives. How closed in we are. Our, our, our mental perception of everything because we're not seeing him as he is. That's why we need that quiet time with him. We need that time when nobody else is on our mind. We aren't on our mind. The people around us, the spouse, the wife, the children, the car, the cat, the dog, the fish, whatever it is, the job, nothing else is on your mind but Christ. We sit down with the Father of heaven and earth. We can sit down with him by the Holy Spirit. We can sit down with him however he is, he is. And we sit with him. He's the Most High God, the El Elyon. He's the Wonderful Counselor. I love my Wonderful Counselor. I love my Prince of Peace. He is so able to keep our heart and mind, and he doesn't fail to do it. I know I'm always stuck on certain scriptures like Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 16, where we bring our cares to the throne room of grace. We bring these things, every issue of life, we can bring it before him. Whatever we're struggling with, whatever we're facing, we can bring all our doubts and all of our fears. We can bring everything to him, all because of what Christ did. And he will give us the grace. And he will give us the mercy. That means he will give you the wisdom. He will give you the understanding. Now, he might not give you the understanding about the issue that is at hand. But maybe he will. I don't know. All I know is that he gives you the strength. And he gives you the wisdom to do something else. <laughs> to do something good. To get up and go on in the faith. I pray for us to be mirrors of the word, mirrors of Christ, showing his goodness, showing the Father's loving kindness, showing the Father's tender mercy, his patience, especially with people in this world today. It's crazy out here. Let's learn to live in the grace of God and that 
the unforced rhythms of his grace. I think we do that by submitting ourselves to God in the morning in that early part when nobody else is up but you. It says in Isaiah that in quietness and in confidence we find strength. That's that part of you where we are we choose to be still and know that he's God. Not just when the, we're facing a situation or circumstance, but just to get into his presence. Just to sit down and know, let him have his way. Let Just sit there and be quiet for a while. Have a desire for him alone. Because see, God's ways are good and he wants to lavish you with those ways. He wants to lead you in the way of life. And that way of life is in him. It's through his son. It's in the eternal God. The everlasting father. No one can pluck you out of his hand. Everything works together for your good. Because you understand that he's the father. He's the creator. He sent his son. You don't have to. The only thing we have to do is believe. Believe on God. He will show us the right way. This is Pastor Cheryl Jackson at Get the Word in Your Face International. Get Galatians chapter 5 in your face and understand that as we're walking through this world, we're not of this world. The fruit of the Spirit, the, the fruit that the Spirit leaves in our hearts, leaves in, in us, is that love, that joy, that peace, that long suffering patience, that gentleness, that goodness, that faithfulness, that meekness, that, that self control, or I'd like to say a sound mind. Through love we learn all of this because we're not fighting with flesh and blood. We're dealing with people. We're dealing with people every single day and we're not fighting against people. We are fighting spiritual things. Enemies, giants, strongholds, principalities, powers, dark rulers of the earth. And we need to fight with the knowledge of God and the knowledge of who we are in him there's one name that we've been given and that name is Jesus God is salvation and when you say in the name of Jesus you're saying God is my salvation you're not standing on your own in this life God is before us in all things I hope you're getting with me here because this fruit of the spirit right here is in us and is active in every situation, no matter how hard it is in your home. The life and the love of God of, is, is being poured into your heart so that you will operate, live life, talk, walk, <laughs> do things in the manner that he would do it straight from your heart you won't be grieving you won't be sorrowful you won't be you know what is that word grumbling and complaining while you do it that good thing that you need to do the trouble is right there you cast the care before the Lord and he gives you the strength to do whatever needs to be done his goodness is in you. All the ways of God are good. And we magnify Him every time we submit ourselves to that gentle grace, especially as trouble lures around you. And I'm not talking about the trouble of somebody trying to hurt you. I'm talking about those decisions that you have to make because somebody else is, you know, not right. 
don't be upset because of other people. You're not fighting flesh and blood. God's ways work. God's ways bring peace and they bring, bring healing. God's ways bring salvation. Love others as Christ has loved you. And there'll be a turnaround. Start praying for those around you. You're like Job had to pray for his friends. He prayed for his friends and, and God restored everything back to him even more so than he ever had before. Again, this is Pastor Cheryl Jackson. I get the word in your face international. Get the word in your face because God does love you. And he wants to direct your steps. He wants to order your steps in his word. <laughs>